Winniewood hometown trip number five and uh, we're gonna pull into Love's Country Store and uh, get us a little snack and continue on. By the way this video is kind of broken up in segments so uh, when you see it quickly change to a different scene this is what uh, what what I am trying to explain that the video uh, is in several segments put together. But anyway, we're pulling in uh, Love's Country Store for a quick bite. Now we're uh, coming out of the uh, cemetery, uh, the Oakland Cemetery in Winniewood. This is August the 7th of uh, 2021. Anyway, we're uh, leaving the cemetery and uh, took a drive through the cemetery and now we're uh, coming out to uh, do a little bit more uh, uh, exploring the city that I grew up in uh, 65 years ago and uh, I just wanted to uh, take you through the uh, different things the videos that I have made of my hometown and uh, as I said earlier in some of the videos uh, <clears throat> I hadn't been in this city for 65 years I was born here in 1937 and uh, graduated from Winniewood High School in 1956 and then went to college uh, three semesters at East Central State University in Ada, Oklahoma and then after that went into the military for four years, four and a half years and then later on got out and finished the college later on but anyway we're going down uh, Hammock Avenue where my mother uh, used to live she passed away in April of uh, 2009 and uh, she lived on the hammock South Hammock Avenue and anyway uh, we're going to narrate this video and uh, pardon me for it being broken up into different video segments but uh, I had some short video clips that I just put together and uh, wanted to uh, integrate them into one uh, 10 minute video and try to uh, narrate the video as we go along. So now we're pulling off of Hammock on to uh, Highway 29 or Robert Robert S. Kerr Boulevard and going east down Highway 29 and we're going to be turning into uh, uh, Delbert's uh, grocery store. I believe it was Delbert's grocery store. It used to be uh, David's uh, super superstore. But anyway, we're going to be pulling in here for a brief uh, minute or two, and we'll be continuing on narrating the rest of these video clips that, that, that we made on the 7th of August of uh, 2021, pulling into the parking lot now up in front of uh, Delbert's uh, supermarket here, and we'll be uh, momentarily parking to adjust our camera for a better uh, view uh, as you can see some of the customers coming out of the grocery store as we speak and I see the uh, Oklahoma uh, Winniewood Savages uh, uh, logo in front of the window there as you can see it's called the Winniewood Savages that's that is our football team there and so now we're uh, uh, on another clip of a location that was on uh, Colbert Street of an old hometown home that when I was a kid it was a nice beautiful home and now it appears to be abandoned for quite some time and covered, covered with a lot of trees and foliage so it uh, was a little bit hard to uh, <clears throat> to see it through all the trees and everything and by the way it uh, has no trash no trespassing signs in front of it which uh, tells me that it's probably been vacant for quite some time but as you can see uh, in the foreground there that it's uh, been abandoned for a long time there and uh, the yard has not been mowed for quite some time it's kind of a sad sight because remembering uh, when I was a kid it was a beautiful white wood frame home and was occupied by a nice family that lived there for years and they had two daughters and uh, I think the uh, owner passed away sometime probably back in the 1950s but anyway that, so much for that so now we're going down to going down uh, Hammock Avenue on another clip here 
going north and uh, showing you some more of the, the scenery here and a lot of trees growing up here. Uh, as I can remember back when I was uh, living here as a kid, uh, the foliage didn't seem to be so uh, like it is now, not too many trees. The trees were uh, so very much smaller and kind of a disappointment because the entire city of Winniewood is so different than it was in the days back in the 50s whenever I grew up here and graduated out of high school. But we're uh, fixing to come up on uh, Highway uh, 29 here or Robert S. Kerr Boulevard and uh, so just follow the road here and we're going to be going uh, down uh, Highway 29, Robert S. Kerr Boulevard, going west. And uh, I'm not sure on this clip because like I said, I made several video clips and uh, combined them to where I could make a 10 minute video out of it. But these were all uh, shot on the same day, August the 7th of 2021. So now we're turning back on to uh, Clayton Street, uh, or Clayton Avenue, where I grew up as a child. And uh, the place when I lived there was uh, hardly any trees in front. And now it is so covered with foliage and trees that it's hard to even see the house in the background there. But as we pass down the street here, I'll try to point it out to you. Uh, and the house on the left there is uh, vacated also. And uh, the street we're coming coming up on now that goes right is called Creek, is Creek Street. And uh, we're deciding to turn off on Creek and go east again uh, and take you uh, to a different neighborhood there. And uh, as I remember uh, coming up where this uh, house is on the left here, there was an old wood frame home there that uh, was there when, when I lived there and that home has completely been tore down and a new uh, brick home has been built there. So a lot of changes in the town over 65 years, that's for sure. And uh, definitely uh, does not uh, portray what I remember uh, when I was young in this town. Uh, and like I said, there was less trees and it just seems like it was so much different back then than it is now. But anyway, I'm glad to be able to uh, take you through the town, through the town city of Winniewood, where I grew up as a child and lived there until I was 20 years old. We're coming up on Cox Avenue now, and uh, there used to be a house right there where that the stop sign is, and it, it is a, just a vacant field right now. So uh, we're going to back up and uh, take a different route here. And uh, we're going to go back down uh, Creek Street again and uh, try to show you some more uh, scenery. On the left there is a nice big garden that someone's growing there. Looks like it's ready to be uh, to try it out. Uh, looks like it's, it's ready to be uh, used there for sure. So we're uh, going on down Creek here and uh, and show you some more scenery and everything. And we're getting close to this bit, the end of this video. We're into eight minutes of it, and uh, it will be uh, completed in a couple more minutes. So try to show you all we can here uh, in the next couple minutes. And. Uh, Nice. It was a nice uh, warm day, uh, about 90 degrees the day that I did the video, and uh, glad we had a good air conditioner in our car, that's for sure. But anyway, had to uh, watch our camera. It was overheating because uh, we were shooting in 4K, and uh, the camera overheats qu quite a bit, the video camera, when you're uh, videoing in uh, 4K. So I uh, had to limit my uh, video uh, clips uh, up to around five minutes or less to cool the camera down. So it looks like we might have another minute to go here and now we're coming back uh, uh, gotta stop here for a minute and try to adjust the camera there and uh, then we'll be moving on to uh, uh, it looks like we're uh, ending this video right now so uh, 
Thank you for uh, going along with us, and as you can see, I'm walking in front of the camera. So thank you for watching.